All right, Wednesday night is time to talk Buckeyes here on Mark Rogers TV with the Scarlet and Gray getting after it at Ohio Stadium to conclude spring practices in front of 82,000 last Saturday. We bring in Brandon Zimmerman from the Buckeye Battle Cry to sort out all sorts of stuff. So, Brandon, we both watched the game and uh, took some notes on it and uh, had some thoughts. So let's go back a week because you definitely set us up in good shape for what to expect or what you were looking for uh, when these, uh, when the Buckeyes got together. So let's uh, go down the list. So first and foremost, behind JT Barrett, a battle for the backup quarterback position. So what did you see there? Well, we knew that um, Urban Meyer spring game, he comes out and throws the ball uh, around 200 times. Um, so we knew we would get a lot of um, action from Joe Burrow and Dwayne Haskins to see who's going to be the backup for JT Barrett. Um, and it didn't uh, disappoint. Joe Burrow threw for 262 yards and three touchdowns. Dwayne Haskins threw for 293 yards and three uh, and three touchdowns. So both of them put up pretty big numbers. Uh, both of them played quite a bit against backup uh, cornerbacks and stuff. A lot of deep balls that kind of miss coverage. So you can't look into it too much and say, "Oh my gosh, the." These guys were just, you know, dominant, but both of them looked very good. Um, and of course, it brought the JT Barrett uh, hate crew out from the uh, woodworks. And uh, now everyone thinks that Dwayne Haskins should start or Joe Burrow. JT Barrett's going to start. JT Barrett looked really good, um, looked different than he did last year. He looked more secure throwing into the uh, pockets. I remember. Uh, there was one pass he made to uh, Paris Campbell where the uh, defender was draped all over him. Uh, Barrett was able to lead uh, lead uh, Paris Campbell and uh, fit it into a tight uh, window there. That was something we didn't really see from from Barrett last year. So I think he's looking really good. He did have that pick, um, but that really wasn't his fault. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Burrell, the uh, right guard, was pushed into him just as he was uh, releasing the ball. Ball just floated up there. I mean, it wasn't anything Barrett did there. Uh, so Burrow and Haskins both look good. Both of them, you know, lighted the fire uh, to the sit JT Barrett crowd. But uh, it's going to be fun to see how it plays out with the two of them and who's going to be the uh, backup. And I don't necessarily think the person that winds up the number two on the quarterback uh, depth chart going into the first game against IU would be the starter if JT Barrett went down. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out. You're right. You got to throw a lot of these throws out the door because the quarterback's got a clean pocket. The guy's wide open. He beat a three deep on the depth chart cornerback or defensive back. But Burrow threw two balls in particular that even though he did have the clean pocket and the, the wide receiver, or in this case, the running back, Mario McCall, really just burned whoever was covering him. The ball he threw had just tremendous touch on it. It was thrown on time. It was thrown in stride. It wasn't like, okay, the guy's wide open. He's standing there, and he catches the ball. He, he threw two balls down the sideline, one in the seam to McCall, one to the wide receiver that you may have mentioned there uh, to the corner of the end zone that were beautifully thrown balls right on stride. So that was impressive. But the one um, um, in particular, I think it was Johnny uh, Dixon down in the uh, corner where it was a, a great ball thrown. Uh, he had, I think it was uh, Sheffield was on the uh, coverage there. But like you mentioned, uh, Burrow did have the uh, benefit of knowing that he wasn't going to be hit. Because if you go back and watch that play, um, Hilliard, uh, who was playing uh, middle linebacker, who played a great game, ran um, unimpeded and would have totally just annihilated Burrow. Uh, Burrow might not have been as confident if he knew that Hilliard had to veer off there. And uh, so, I mean, it was a great throw. Both of them look very good um, accuracy rise. Both of them had very strong arms. Uh, but like you were saying, they knew that they weren't going to be touched. So it kind of <laughs> led to some throws that maybe they wouldn't have done if it was a real game because they would have been scrambling or something. Urban Meyer made the comment before the game when he was interviewed by, I believe, uh, who who was uh, was uh, Carpenter? Yeah, was Bobby Carpenter, reporter. That's right. Uh, that JT Barrett has been accurate ninety percent of the time on deep throws during spring camp. Sixty uh, percent's the goal, so that uh, bodes well for the regular season.